What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the deposition of Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy. The video is titled Dave Portnoy's Deposition. Michael Rappaport's lawyer is no match for El Prez. I did a little bit of digging before you watch this video. Michael Rappaport was a former Barstool talent. He did a podcast or a show. He had a falling out with Dave. Words were exchanged. You're a loser. You're a loser in life. You pizza reviewing bitch. Dave fired him and Michael Rappaport sued for defamation. So that is the context of this video. Let's get started. Um, this is a um, blog of yours, El Presidente, February 21st, 2018, correct? Correct. Okay. And at the very bottom, you write, this shirt haunting him for the rest of his life is enough for me. No need to rub it in more with the champagne. Do you see that? No. Very bottom of the document. Oh, okay, yeah, he's, I know, I know this shirt. Yep, yeah, okay. And you're referring to the shirt with him that we've talked about today, Correct. Correct? And why, what, what about that shirt do you believe would haunt him for the rest of his life? He's depicted as a clown. Clown with herpes. All right, you said that, not me. Well, isn't that was wasn't that your intent, sir? No, you actually listened to a video of me just saying it's a clown shirt. I see. Um, but you for anybody who doesn't know, Dave Portnoy has a history of depicting people he does not like as clowns. Famously, he sells, and I think he continues to sell a Roger Goodell clown T-shirt. I think that's one of his most famous items ever. Part of the allure of Barstool Sports, why Dave Portnoy is such a polarizing figure with a devout cult following, is he does take things personal. Of course you're fired, Rapport. What the f*** do you think was going to happen? So after Michael Rapport was fired, there was a shirt that was released depicting him as a clown. However, that clown also had some form of cold sore on it, which I think is the issue here. Let's keep going. Let's see if anything gets resolved. You knew by February 21st, 2018, that people were um, at Barstool were saying that the T-shirt de depicted him with herpes, correct? Uh, yeah, yes, I knew that. So if I'm understanding this correctly, one of Michael Rappaport's claims is that Dave and Barstool Sports portrayed him as having herpes and published this on a shirt. Before we keep going, I just want to say this. Dave Portnoy is probably a great client to have because he owns the bad facts and he doesn't make them that bad. Here, the plaintiff's lawyer was trying to pin Dave and say, you're aware that everybody at your office was claiming that this shirt depicted him as having herpes. And he just straight up said, yes. At Barstool were saying that the t-shirt de depicted him with herpes correct uh yeah yes i knew that he was aware he's not going to run and hide oftentimes clients fear and they hide from the bad fact and they tiptoe around it and it makes it so much worse he owns it and just totally mitigates the damage it does but that's not why i thought the clown shirt's personal to me you have to be a real idiot to get it and y'all, real quick, before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. And I know I've said this before, but Skillshare is the only sponsorship I've ever taken on this channel before because it's a product I believe in. Most recently, I just took the class by Kate Ahrens called Personal Productivity, Five Exercises to Make Your Big Goal a Reality. I thought it was very intriguing. The Skillshare platform is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads. And they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So whether you're interested in learning about creative writing, professional development, or video editing, Skillshare has classes for you. And the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start learning today. So check it out if you want. Moving on. Um, do you recall um, your testimony earlier today that you created the clown shirt? You designed and created the clown shirt after you terminated Mr. Yes. Port, Mr. Uh, Rutherford? I do. Okay. That is in fact not true, isn't it? Isn't it true that you designed the clown shirt prior to terminating Mr. Rappaport because you were looking for a reason to terminate him. Objection. What? 
Ms. Isn't Sierra it Dreyse true that your testimony today that you that designed to me. the clown shirt after terminating Mr. Rappaport is false testimony? Objection. Not to my knowledge, it's not. Isn't it true, sir, that you had designed the T-shirt before terminating Mr. Rappaport and that you had planned to concoct a reason to terminate him and were planning on releasing it as soon as you terminated him? Okay, so on top of the potential defamation claim, there's definitely a wrongful termination claim. If Dave was designing this t-shirt before he fired Michael Rappaport, it could show some form of evidence that he was planning on firing him and just looking for any reason to get out of the contract. And what's important to remember is that co-workers making fun of each other is not new. It pretty much happens in every office. You're going to have conflicts of personality, especially when you have a big company like Barstool Sports. What's important about that is Dave Portnoy is the owner. So there's a huge difference in opinions. So it would be totally different if a fellow employee was making fun of Michael Rappaport or presumably making these designs, not necessarily releasing them, just making them to make fun of him. But if a superior, the owner, the CEO or president or whatever position Dave Portnoy is, that could potentially lead to some conflicts. Objection no misstates the about. evidence argumentative. What exhibit is it? This will be exhibit number two. This is exhibit number two. We started to talk about this and then um, I had trouble with the video, so we stopped. Uh -huh. But you recall your testimony earlier today that the picture that you came up with, the t-shirt that you designed, you did all of that after you terminated Mr. Um, Rappaport, correct? Correct. Um, isn't it true, sir, that in fact um, you actually had the picture ready to go and that you were in fact just waiting to um, use something you could to justify your termination of Mr. Rappaport and then uh, uh, use it at that point? No. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play for you um, a video and um, I want you to um, I'll have some questions for you after. It's Stool Scenes Episode 52. I am Crappaport Stereo Fraudcast. <laughs> <laughs> the, the title. Okay. And um, <laughs> this begins at 2.51 okay. of the video. Like, oh, should I fire him? It's like, oh, he's f***ing gone. How long did it take you to come up with those concerts? That's one of the most vicious things I've ever seen. Oh, that was instant. Like, I was mad we had all the shirts out before. I knew once we did it that it was, like, I, I think my three texts went in order. Um... I fired the wrong Rappaport, <laughs> then I fired the real Rappaport, and then I said, well, or make this shirt. Because I knew I was waiting for him to say something. Like, so I had him like, well, I'll just wait till Rappaport opens his mouth and I'll be like, boom. You say private, like when you fire him. I haven't talked to him. So, um, is it, so what did you mean, sir, when you said that you knew Rappaport was gonna say something and then you would have it ready to go, boom? I don't know if you misinterpreted that. that so that, the, what I said on that was after I, I, when this all went down, I knew I had to fire him. I fired, I, I sent it a, a text to the wrong Rappaport, mm -hmm. different one. Then I fired Mike Rappaport. I said on that, so after he was fired, the third text was our, to our t-shirt guy to create the shirts because the Rappaport was gonna go off the rails, which he did. And then once he was off the rails, we put the shirt on. So this is all post firing. So I don't know what you mean by a predetermined thing. So let me let me play it one more time, and then I'll have a question about a specific statement that okay. you make. Okay. Say that anyways. He's the only idiot who would yeah. say that. But every situation is f***ing different. It's, it's a no brainer. Like I, I was like, oh, should I fire him? It's like, oh, he's f done. How long did it take you to come up with those clown shirts? Because that's one of the most vicious things I've ever seen. Oh, that was instant. Like I was mad we had all the shirts out before. I knew once we did it that it was like. I, I think my three texts went in order. Um, I fired the wrong Rappaport, <laughs> then I fired the real Rappaport, and then I said, well, or make this shirt. Because I knew I was waiting for him to say something. Like, so I had him like, well, I'll just wait till Rappaport opens his mouth and I'll be like, boom. Okay, so you said you knew he was gonna say something, mm -hmm. and so you had it ready, and when he said it, you were like, boom. What do you mean by that? 
I just explained it. Well, once we fight Rappaport, I knew he was going to do things like he did, which is challenging me to a fight, make pictures of himself, having sex with me from behind, things like that. When he did that, I was going to release the shirt. I'd have it ready to go. Um, so I don't know, like, so your, your characterization of it being made before he was fired, that contradicts it. The photo... When you said so I want to touch on something Dave said really quick and Matthew the editor please correct me if I'm wrong up here because I don't know but Dave claims that Michael Rappaport released some derogatory images of Dave Portnoy before Dave made the shirt if that's true while that doesn't necessarily mean that Michael's claims are null and void it certainly mitigates them because now you're just looking at two adults who don't see eye to eye basically feuding on the internet and what is a jury going to see when you have one person suing the other for the mean shirts or mean text messages or pictures when there are equally mean pictures coming from the other side doesn't help your case you knew he was going to say something and you had it ready to go does that not mean that you were waiting for him to say something that you could then use to terminate him? The video is after he was fired. I literally say in it, the three, he go, the, the guy goes, when did you have the shirt? I go, three things happened. I fired the wrong Rappaport. I fired Mike Rappaport. Mike Welker, who makes our, is who are our t-shirt guys. I go, the third, one, two, three. So I fired Rappaport. The next text was to our t-shirt guy, to get this shirt ready for when Mike Rappaport said something about me and escalate this because at this point he had it. Then Rappaport proceeded to challenge me to fight. I believe this is sorry language, called me pussy repeatedly and then made pictures of himself having sex with me from behind. That's when I put the shirt on sale. Okay. So it's the exact opposite of what you insinuate. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Okay. That went well. <laughs> Dave knows he has him. Look at, look at Dave's face. Bitch. It is your testimony, sir, that you did not have anything planned before Mr. Rappaport? Correct. Okay. And that video you just played proves it. <laughs> Let's go to exhibit number 50. So I know Dave Portnoy definitely seemed like he won that argument and was pretty funny doing it, but that was only 7 minutes and 30 seconds of a deposition that probably lasted hours. And as a lawyer, you have to go down every little rabbit hole that might lead to something remember taking a deposition is part of the discovery process so you want to learn while you are taking depositions you want to unearth new things so then you can ask for supplementary documents or take another deposition of somebody else so you go and you have these little rabbit holes some of them are dead ends and then you move on to the next claim or down to the next rabbit hole so that lawyer just said okay we're done here i can see that i was wrong on this theory let's look at the next exhibit move on so let's see how this case ended up michael rap report loses court battle against barstool sports and dave portnoy over clown shirt a judge dismissed actor and podcast comedian michael rap report's defamation lawsuit against barstool sports founder dave portnoy striking down part of the suit that centered around a clown face shirt and a sexually transmitted disease. U.S. Southern District Court judge on Monday dismissed the defamation claim by Rappaport, who sued over the Photoshop clown t-shirt. Barstool stores began selling after a messy departure from the network. The judge specifically honed in on Rappaport's complaint that a red blemish placed on the face just below the clown nose insinuated that he was infected with herpes. But the judge disagreed, saying a reasonable audience would not tie that image featuring his face to accusations that he had the STD. The defamation lawsuit noted that Barstool Sports described him as a racist and a D-list actor, but the judge labeled those insults as nothing more than subjective evaluations. The 64-page opinion issued Monday doesn't fully close the lawsuit, which also accused Barstool Sports of breach of contract. The judge moved to send those contract claims to trial. So there you go. And based on what I'm seeing, I certainly think that is the right call. I don't think making the clown t-shirt was defamatory per se. Also, the exchange between Dave Portnoy and Mike Rappaport was nothing more than just two people who subjectively have mean opinions of each other. And remember, when a case gets dismissed on summary judgment, it basically means that the judge determines that no reasonable jury could find 
for the non-prevailing party which again makes sense why the defamation claim was thrown out and why the breach of contract or wrongful termination claim was kept because Michael Rappaport was a talent at Barstool Sports and his contract was terminated early why it was terminated or what the actions leading up to the termination I don't know it's going to depend on what was in the contract what cause of action Barstool Sports brought when firing him why they could fire him it's just going to depend it's just going to depend it's going to depend on their contract and that's stuff that I don't know oh yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that like button and leave any comments or suggestions down below consider subscribing to this community we just passed 446 000 subscribers which is absolutely crazy my goal is always to make content worthy of your time I hope you thought this was fun I thought this was fun all right y'all talk to you later bye he's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a youtuber attorney tom and y'all real quick before we continue today's video is sponsored by skillshare skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators explore new skills deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity and i know i've said this before but skillshare is the only sponsorship i've ever taken on this channel before because it's a product i believe in most recently i just took the class by kate aarons called personal productivity five exercises to make your big goal a reality i thought it was very intriguing the skillshare platform is curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you so whether you're interested in learning about creative writing professional development or video editing skillshare has classes for you in the first a thousand people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare so you can start learning today so check it out if you want. Moving on.